Welcome back. This is still tea time. Alicia Keys announces on Thursday that she is launching a new initiative to raise a billion dollars fund um, to support small businesses owned by African Americans. Um, she announced the details of the initiative in an open letter to Billboard while explaining why she agreed to perform at the National Football League's um, kickoff event for its 2020 season. She said, and I quote, Today I will be doing something I never thought I would do again. I'm performing for the NFL kickoff event. My initial reaction was to decline because of some of the NFL's past decisions. Yet, I realized I have to use my platform. We all need to use our platforms every chance we get to press um, for racial e e equity. And she went on to say she was actually doing this because of the fund that is being raised that also go back to mm -hmm. another black um, um, cause that is related to Black Lives Matter and mm -hmm. all that. So, yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I felt like it was a very good um, initiative. Uh, Excuse damage control mm -hmm. thing because we all know how the NFL had treated Kapper something. I don't know how to say his surname. Yeah, the, Kaepernick. the guy who knew. Yes, no, no, yeah. I, I, I don't know. And how, how they boycotted them mm -hmm. and how they have basically stood against everyone who has tried to use the same platform to um, what's it called stand for the black lives matter movement etc mm -hmm. etc et mm. and for the longest time they've always been a conversation about boycotting them so i feel like she should if she, maybe for me Mew, if she had said this in this so-called initiative before she performed maybe i would be like oh my gosh yes girl but then i i i, I, feel, I feel like it's absolute bs coming from alicia keys and yeah. Keys has always itched me the wrong way with a lot of her initiatives and i think she's one of those people that are very 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 good at deceiving people because not a lot of people are on this on this notion she did the same thing with her makeup when she came out to say that she's never going to wear makeup anymore she wants her natural face and i was thinking wow beautiful idea but you did surgery for your nose you fixed all your insecurities before you made that decision so uh, for me it's the same thing with this particular story until it was really comfortable i don't know if if, if i'm if i'm just being extremely biased and that's not the case but that is what it looks like to me so if i get surgery end up, for her nose. Yes. yes it's okay oh, wow. it's okay let me tell you why it's okay if i, I get an endorsement baby. <laughs> if I get if I get an endorsement tomorrow and they say, oh, if I want you to stop wearing clothes that cover your body, we want you to start exposing your body more. Mm -hmm. You need to start wearing more tank top. Of mm -hmm. course, I'm going to go to the gym to go fix my if body. That's different. I don't want to have a flat. That's very belly. different. Nobody that's asked us to do that. Nobody no, asked. She was basically no, that's saying what people were different. thinking. No, that's thinking that people what? think she just went out of the radar and she just said, oh, I'm not gonna wear wake, makeup anymore. So who asked her not she to did, wear makeup? Um, I can't remember the beauty line. Right she was now. talking about the standard of beauty being extreme mm -hmm. and you go under and the knife she has to a lot get of the perfect nose before you now say that the standard you have reached the standard mm -hmm. please don't don't say that <laughs> it is it's bold okay. for you please to look take at my your nose insecurities take your look fat at my black nose. features you see your beautiful black features take it with you take the full lips with you oh. it's, like, it's like kylie jenna coming to say now that um she feels she doesn't have any problems when not wearing makeup but she's done her fillers she's done this she's done that she the, the problem with not wearing makeup is that it reveals the insecurities. And she doesn't have those insecurities anymore because she's gone under the knife. There's nothing wrong with that, but they don't pretend. But we're talking about liberation of wear... women for them to be able to do whatever exactly, they want with their bodies. Exactly, but she already did knife before then. She's now attacking the same standard that, she's try that she wanted to meet up to. If I'm not getting the picture. I, I get what you're coming from. I'm just saying it's okay for you to fix it's all okay. your insecurities yeah, no, okay. before Actually, you go. when you want but, to come but, out and use yourself as a standard for other but people But finally, to follow. Uh, finally uh, I'm going to give a shout out to the beehives because they started this by helping black businesses grow. Yeah. Beehives are with Beyonce. Go hear me. Is it Beehives that collected the Beyonce money? Beyonce and Beehives. I do not the same one. <laughs> uh, are not the same five and six. No. Are they really the two. ones that started it? The well, ones she was the one with the, it, the um, Bay Jacob something. Jacob has been steady said, spending money. Wale, um, is it Drake now? There's she made it more popular. Mm -hmm. Okay. We okay. Can't say that your, your shout out stands. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, tea time continues right after this break with a conversation with our homegirl Ife Omai and the 10th housemates to leave the Big Brother Niger lockdown season, Lucy.